Hi, welcome to EPG Parshala Spanish. We are in the paper of Intermediate Grammar. I'm Rajiv Saxena and I teach Spanish in the Center of Spanish, Portuguese, Italian and Latin American Studies of the Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. This is the module which is called the Repaso, the Practical Spanish One. The objective of this module as I have said it in Spanish, is repaso is to revise because in the previous modules we have covered topics like personal pronouns, gustar, and other verbs, the imperative mood, the simple future tense, and the preterit tense. So, in this module, we will ensure that we revise all these verbs once more to refresh your minds and also. To ensure that you get enough practice in the oral part. For the written part, we have the modules in e-text which you must keep with you all the time and keep on remembering and revising it as many times as possible. So, in this chapter, we will be dealing with the various aspects of the usage of these topics in the written and spoken form of the Spanish language. We will be taking into consideration various short stories and examples to get a better understanding and grounding on these topics, followed by a set of exercises which are included in the self-assessment section of these modules, including the above-mentioned topics. So, we are going to be revising some important aspects of all the things that we have done previously in the previous modules in detail and so that you may practice and learn these aspects. When we are talking about the pronouns, the yo becomes me, the nosotros has nos, the tu has te and the vosotros has os. The el and usted, as we had mentioned in the IOP, DOP section, or the indirect object pronoun or direct object pronoun, it becomes el usted has lo for masculine and elios and ustedes. And for los, for them, you, masculine, elia and usted. La becomes her or it feminine, you formal, feminine, elias and ustedes. Las is them and you feminine. Elias and Ustedes. So, Radha prepares dessert. We have already talked about this previously. Radha is the subject of the sentence. The person in charge of the verb who prepares. Radha prepares the dessert. This is the verb and it is a transitive verb as it transfers action to an object and so requires an object. And in this case, the object is dessert. Radha prepares desert. This is the direct object as it receives the action of the verb. The desert is what Radha prepares. So, let us see how the combination of the IOP, the indirect object pronoun and the direct object pronoun or the DOP functions. As we had mentioned as a rule, when le and lo come, it becomes se lo when les and lo come, it becomes se lo. When le and la comes, it becomes se la. When les and la come together, it becomes se la. When le and los come together, it becomes se los. When les and los come together, it becomes se los. When le and las come together, it becomes se las. And when les and las come together, it becomes se las. This is the rule that le, lo cannot exist, les, lo cannot exist, les, la cannot exist, les, la cannot exist. It always has to be se, lo, se, la, se, los or se, las. We also have done gustar and other verbs. So let us revise their uses also in this section of repasso. A mi or I. Me gusta, I like el cine. I like cinema. A mi me gusta el cine. A ti te gustan los ordenadores. You like the computers. These are the verbs gustar. A elia, el, usted, 
le gusta el mar. A ella, él, usted le gusta el mar. You, he, she likes the sea. A nosotros, nosotros nos gustan las motos. We like the motorcycles. So we can see the gusta in el mar becomes le gusta el mar and in case of las motos it becomes nos gustan las motos because el mar is the one according to which gustar gets conjugated and las motos is the one according to which the gustar gets conjugated. A vosotros, vosotras os gusta el radio. The same rule is applying here also that as per radio which is singular Gustar gets conjugated. A ellos, ellas, ustedes, les gustan motocicletas. So, motocicletas is plural. That is why gustar becomes plural. Gustan. So, let us do a quick revision of the verbs which are similar to gustar and which we have dealt with previously in the section where we are talking about the verb gustar and the module which is dealing with these verbs. I have al already mentioned them and they are apasionar, to love passionately, encantar, to love something, enloquecer, to be driven mad, all these which are done as per the gusta rules. To be excited about something, entusiasmar, to dislike, to, di to hate, disgustar, faltar, to be missing something, not to have something. All these verbs are similarly conjugated as the gustar verb. Fascinar is another verb which is like that, to be fascinated. Ase falta, to be in the need of, to need something. Importar, to care about something, to mind. Interesar, to be interested in something. Quedar, to have something left. Quedar, molestar, to be bothered by. I repeat, fascinar, to be fascinated. Hacer falta, to be in need of, to need something. Importar, to care about something, to mind. Interesar, to be interested in something. Quedar, to have something left. Molestar, to be bothered by. Parecer, to seem, to appear to. Sobrar, to have more than enough of something. Tocar, to be someone's turn. Doler, to hurt. Convenir, to suit someone. Be good for someone. Let us see how infinitives are changed into imperatives. We have dealt with imperatives in one of the previous modules which is dealing only with imperatives. Imperatives are commands which you give. Commands are usually used for to or the third person plural forms vosotros, vosotras. Imperatives are conjugated as dar to give so it becomes doi is the, in, the normal conjugation de or then estar the normal conjugation is estoy it becomes este or estén. So with this we can see how these in infinitives are being changed into imperative by using the imperative sense. E to go is conjugated in the present as voi and in the imperative it becomes vaya or vayan. Like I said, the Spanish saying vaya con Dios is let, let you be going with the gods. Saber, to know, say is the normal conjugation in the present tense sepa or sepan uh, which is the command ser to be the normal present tense conjugation is soy and in the mandato or in the imper imperativo the imperative it becomes sea or sean so the infinitive usted command and negative vosotros command use for example ir to go vaya or no vayais. Saber to know becomes sepa or no sepais. Se, ser to be becomes sea or 
no seais. Let us go through the future tense. We have dealt with the future tense in one of the previous modules. Let us look at all these verbs once again and revise them quickly. Cantar, to sing, is conjugated as cantare, cantaras, cantara, cantaramos, cantarais, cantaran. Volver, to come back, is conjugated as volvere, volveras, volvera, volveréis, volverán, and volverán. Pedir, is to ask, pediré, pediras, pedirá, and it can become pediremos, pediréis, and pedirán. So, by this, we know how the conjugation of these verbs is being done in the future. Verbs which are similar like saber in the future tense are poder, to be able to, podre, I will be, I shall be able to, caber, to fit, cabre, I will, I shall fit into the suit, etc. Aber, there is, abra, there will be, querer, to want, Kere, I will, I shall want. So, these are the verbs which are like saber and they are conjugated like saber. Podre, cabre, querre. I will be, I shall be able to. Cabre, I will be, I shall be able to fit. Abre, there will be, there will be plural. Kere, I will, I shall want. Componer. Again, this is a compound verb which says to fix. Compondre, this is how it is conjugated in the future. Des hacer, to undo. Des are, is the future. Detener, like tener, to detain, becomes detendre. Disponer, to dispose, like poner, becomes dispondre. Exponer, like poner, to expose, becomes expondre. Imponer, to impose, becomes impondre. I repeat, in all these verbs, which are compound verbs formed of two parts, becomes componer, poner, compondre, deshacer, like hacer, desare, detener, like tener, detener, disponer, like poner, dispondre, exponer, to expose, like poner, becomes expondre, imponer, to impose, becomes impondre. Other forms of this compound verbs are mantener, man maintain, like tener, mantendre, obtener, again, like tener, to obtain, obtendre, oponerse, to oppose, like poner, becomes me opondre, proponer, again, like poner, to propose, it is propondre, rehacer, to do again, re are because it is like hacer. Reponer to replace again it is like poner so it is repondre. Retener again it is like tener so it becomes conjugated like tener. Retendre to retain. I repeat again. Mantener to maintain. Mantendre. Obtain to op obtener to obtain. Obtendre. Oponer say to oppose. Me opondre. Proponer to propose, propondre, rehacer to do again, reare, reponer to replace, repondre, retener to retain, retendre. Now, let us go through preterit tense again to learn it perfectly. We have already dealt with preterit before in great detail. Take out a printout of the e text over there. And let us quickly go over the verbs pensar, beber, and vivir. In the yo form, pensar becomes pensé, beber becomes bebí, vivir becomes vivi. In the tu form, pensaste, bebiste, bebiste. Again, in the el, elia, and usted forms, it becomes pensó, bebió, vivió. In the nosotros, Nosotras form, it becomes pensamos, bebimos, vivimos. And in the vosotros, 
vosotras form it becomes pensasteis bebisteis vivisteis ellos ellas ustedes it becomes pensaron bebieron and vivieron the best is to take out a printout of these tables and keep repeating them time to time or talking about it with your friends and practicing it to get it perfect some useful expressions which always take time and specify that time and are used with pratirit is a esa hora at that time anoche last night ante anoche the night before last ante ayer the day before yesterday ayer al mediodía yesterday at midday so these marcadores de tiempo or these time expressions are a esa hora anoche ante anoche ante ayer ayer al mediodía or other examples of these marcadores de tiempo or time markers are ayer por la mañana ayer por la noche ayer por la tarde el año pasado el lunes martes miércoles pasado el mes pasado all these use the pretérit because you're talking about a fixed specific time in the past ayer por la mañana ayer por la noche ayer por la tarde el año pasado el lunes pasado or el mes pasado other marcadores de tiempo or time markers are en ese momento at that moment hace 10 años 10 years ago it can be 15 20 15 20 hace 10 años hace 15 años hace 20 años hoy por la mañana this morning la semana pasada last week cumplir años to turn into a specific age dar cuenta de darse cuenta de to realize decidir to decide descubrir to discover graduarse to graduate morir to die why because all these verbs happen at a fixed point of time they the action starts and it ends at a fixed point of time darse cuenta de to realize decidir to decide descubrir to discover graduarse to graduate and morir to die the verbs that end in car change the c to cu explicar becomes explique verbs that end in gar change to g or gu llegar becomes llegué verbs that end in zar change the z to c almorzar almorce this we have already mentioned in the part that we were dealing with the preterite tense in a previous module. So, when we talk about other verbs like leer, in yo it becomes leer. Oi to hear becomes oi. Construi to build becomes construi. In the tu form, leer becomes leiste. Oir becomes oiste. Construir becomes construiste. And el, ella, usted, it becomes leyó, oyó, construyó. Or in nosotros, nosotras, it becomes leímos, oímos, or construimos. The other conjugations are in vosotros or vosotras, leísteis, oísteis. Construisteis in ellos, ellas, and ustedes. The conjugation is leyeron, oyeron, and construyeron. So it is best to take a printout of all these verbs and keep repeating them in your mind or writing them down so as to get more and more practice. Now let us take three other verbs in the preterit form, which is pedir to ask for. Dormir, to sleep, or preferir, to prefer. The yo form of pedir becomes pedi, of dormir becomes dormi, of preferir it becomes preferi. In the tu form it becomes pediste, in dormir, dormiste, preferir, preferiste. El, elia, usted, it becomes pidio, durmio, preferio. 
en nosotros, nosotras, it becomes pedimos, dormimos, preferimos. En vosotros, vosotras, it becomes pedisteis, dormisteis, preferisteis. En ellos, ellas, ustedes, it becomes pidieron, durmieron, and prefieron. Now, let us have a look at the short story. Let us take out a printout and sit with this printout while we are listening to me read it out. So, the title of the short story is Amor Imposible and it has been written by Ramon the King Sedeño Santana. Focus on the highlighted section which I will stress out while reading so that you can have a better understanding of all the work that we have done and revise it thoroughly for understanding it truly. Teresa Gonzalez es una joven de 22 años de edad. Trabajadora, su sueño siempre ha sido superarse y darle un techo a su madre, ya que viven alquiladas y el poco dinero no les alcanza para pagar la renta. Un día, Teresa llega a su trabajo cuando su jefe personalmente la llama. Señorita González, a mi oficina. Pregunta Teresa, ¿para qué me llamó? Llamó, pay attention, llamó. ¿Para qué me llamó, señor? Respondiendo su jefe Antonio, no es para nada malo, sino todo lo contrario. Se acabaron sus problemas. Le voy a dar un ascenso. Cuidado. La palabra se acabaron. Acabaron in the past preterit. Le voy a dar. Le as the ob indirect object pronoun. Voy a dar un ascenso. Teresa, muy feliz, contesta. Muchas gracias, señor Antonio. Es usted un ángel. No sabe la feliz que me hace. Tranquila, tranquila, dice Antonio. ¿Cómo sabrá? Sabrá, which is again in the future tense. Tiene todo un precio. Antonio quería a cambio de ese ascenso que Teresa se acostara con él. Teresa con ojos aguados le da una chaquetada a su jefe Antonio y le dice, No soy de esas. Su ascenso, déselo a otra. Ahora soy pobre, pero honrada. Ahora, permítame, volveré a mi trabajo. Déselo. Again, an indirect object pronoun and direct object pronoun, which are being joined together with a order. An imp imp uh, a pedido. Volveré a mi trabajo. Volveré. I will return. Which means the future. Antonio sonriendo le contesta. No se equivoca. No volverá a su trabajo. Volverá. Cuidado. El futuro. A su trabajo porque a partir de este momento estás despedida. Ahora fuera de mi vista. Cuando Teresa llorando y preocupada llega a su casa... No sabe cómo decirle, decirle a su pobre madre que ya no tiene trabajo. Pero lo que no se imagina es que en la casa le espera, le espera una peor noticia. Al entrar a su casa, Teresa ve a su madre llorar y le pregunta, le pregunta, ¿Por qué lloras mamá? Ya te dijeron, decirme qué. Pregunta la madre y Teresa le contesta que ya no tengo trabajo. La madre sorprendida dice, no lo sabía, Dios mío, más noticias malas. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer, Teresa? Tenemos hasta mañana para desalojar la casa. El señor Marcos la necesita, la necesita, vacía para mañana. Dos horas después, Gabriel El mejor amigo de Teresa le ve llorando en un parque y le pregunta, la ve y le pregunta, ¿qué te pasa Tere? ¿Por qué lloras? 
Cuando Teresa le explica la situación, le explica la situación a Gabriel, él le, le propone irse a vivir a su casa hasta resolver su problema. Pero Teresa le responde, le responde, sería mucha molestia que yo y mi madre vivamos en tu casa, molestia. Es por tu esposa, no le caigo muy bien a Laura, no, olvídalo, olvídalo. Pero Gabriel insiste y le dice, mira, pero Gabriel insiste y le dice, mira, esa es mi casa y yo llevo a quien yo quiera y ni Laura ni nadie me lo puede impedir y tú eres más importante para mí, digo, como amigo, sí, y a Laura no le gusta, tendría que aguantarse callada, no le gusta. Tres meses después de que Teresa se mudó en casa de Gabriel, se empiezan a notar cambios de actitud de parte de Laura hacia Teresa. Una mañana, Teresa despierta y encuentra una carta que decía, He visto cómo miras a Gabriel. Te lo advierto, el que juega con fuego, algún día se quema. The parts which have been marked bold in the text were read by me with extra emphasis for you to catch them and they show us the examples of all the grammatical aspects that we have dealt with in this module. They also do a brief revision of all that we have done in the previous modules regarding the future tense, the verbs like gustar, de imperfecto, de preterito, all these have been covered by this little short story that we have dealt with right now. So, to conclude, we would like to emphasize that we have revised almost all the topics that we have dealt with in the last five modules, but they will have to be dealt with in a more detailed manner in the advanced grammar paper. We need to do more exercises to learn how to use them. Once learned, these are fun to use. So go ahead, learn and use them and have fun. Thank you.